Hey guys, welcome to Bar Z. My name's Stan, and today our video is a little out of the norm. It's uh, what to do on lockdown and what do you do with your time. I uh, recently witnessed uh, my neighbor and his wife walking their dog down the street. Now, in the beginning, they had a spring in their step and they looked, uh, you know, happy to be home. You know, just kind of like another weekend. But after a while, it uh, looked a little different. They looked really bored, and they I just had to comment on it. I go, you guys just look bored. So let's go over what you can do during a lockdown. Um, my first tip is just start. Now, I got this written on my day planner. It's permanently written right on the front of my daily planner. Just start. It's written up there on the board. And what does that mean? Well, treat every day like a normal day, like a regular work day. Get up early. Get out of bed. Uh, make your bed. Take your shower. Shave your face. Get fully dressed. Don't sit around all day in your pajamas. Uh, get out and, and, uh, and do something. Just start. Now that takes, sometimes it, it's hard to get motivated. And a lot of times if you just start by, I come out to the shop and I'm a little overwhelmed. But uh, sometimes I find just picking up a broom and sweeping up a little bit motivates me and I get going. Uh, don't get overwhelmed. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. Just start. Next up, uh, you know, make some lists of what you are capable of and what you do and what you do well. Make some lists of these things that you can do. And there's two sides to the coin on everything. If you can teach these things, teach them. But you know what teachers need? They need students. So if there's something you want to learn, go to YouTube, go to any social media outlet and learn something. You can be a student, you can be a teacher, it doesn't matter. I love learning new stuff and I try to learn something new every day. So just get out there. If you're capable of teaching and passing on some knowledge that you have, you'll find the students, they will come. Um, if there's something you're interested in, you need to learn to weed out the good and the bad on say YouTube. Uh, it's pretty easy to spot. You know, you find a good teacher, stick with them. Here's another thing you can do. Uh, start prepping. People have made fun of me for being a prepper for years. But you know what? You do a practice run. Put it in your mind. Start with something small. Like, what if I didn't have any internet for a day? Go and plug your internet for a day. What do you need? What do you do? What, do you, what, what, what are your requirements during that day? And prep accordingly. Go turn the gas off to your house. How am I going to cook things? How am I going to heat my water? Make sure you've got provisions. Make a list of things you need to do to prep. You know, just be prepared. I was a Boy Scout. And I, I yeah, there's no shame in being a prepper. I, I love being a prepper. So, uh, fresh water. How are you going to, how are you going to boil it? How are you going to cook with it? How are you going to bathe with it? Um, electricity. People live without electricity for centuries. We can too. It's a luxury. You don't need electricity to survive. Um, make provisions. Think about what it would take. What if your gas was shut off? How would you heat your home? Start a wood pile. Uh, grow a garden. Learn how to garden. Going back to the teaching. Uh, go back and uh, learn how to garden. Learn how to... Um, get the nutrients into the soil and the bacteria into the soil so you've got a successful, quick-growing garden. What else can you do during a, a lockdown? Well, develop and make a product. You know, if you can dream it or think about it and put it on paper, chances are you can either build it or do some research and be able to build it. Do some, you know, be a student to one of these guys I was talking about earlier. Learn a new trade, learn a new skill, and uh, 
make it, whether it be arts and crafts, sewing, make your own clothes, uh, whatever, you know, whatever interests you. You know, there, there's woodworking, there's metalworking, there's fabrication, there's uh, uh, sewing, there's cooking, there's all kinds of things that you can do with your spare time to better yourself. Uh, I'm trying to make you come out of this whole lockdown thing a better person. Now, I am blessed by the fact that I do make a few products right here in the shop that are already established, and I am able to provide for my family right here without even leaving. And, uh, you know, if, if I can do that, you certainly can too. Uh, you know, there's really not that much to it. But uh, you don't have to start out with a complicated project. Start off with something simple. Build some wind chimes. Build a... Uh, uh, decorations, build uh, patio accessories, furniture, fabricate something, learn how to weld. You know, there, there's there's tons of stuff you can you can craft and do yourself, and, uh, and and the results are quite often very rewarding. You know what? Start a YouTube channel, and uh, you know in the beginning it takes a while to get them going, but anything that you know. Like, like I said before, if you're a teacher or you have a specific knowledge on anything, share it. Uh, the students will come. You know, if there's something they want to learn, uh, make yourself a, a, a good hub for and a good resource for, uh, you know, learning this stuff. Uh, it, it's no big deal to start a YouTube channel. It's pretty easy. Uh, you're not going to get paid at first for monetization. But uh, what better time, you got spare time, might as well start a YouTube channel. And your first videos won't be great. Mine still aren't great. But I still, uh, I still do it. You know, I still throw it out there. And uh, there's, it, there's no shame in failing at a YouTube channel. Give it a try. Now here's another thing, and this is kind of big. For your supplies, for things that you need to craft, make, do, whatever it is during your lockdown, uh, pick up the phone. Buy locally, hardware stores, fabric supplies, uh, seeds, things like that for a garden. Uh, you know, all your little local businesses around you, they're hurting just as bad as you are. Support them. Call ahead. If they can get what you need in, get it in. If they got it in stock, great. See, I'll be down to pick it up. Do, a, do the porch pickup thing like they do so you're not, you know, uh, spreading, your, spreading the virus. Um, but support your locals and stay away from the big, uh, you know, the, the, the big box stores and the things online where they deliver it to your door. Um, you know, these, your, your local community and your local economy is more important than the, than the global and the national. So, uh, try to support your locals, you know, they're there to support you. You need to be there to support them. So try to buy local and for any supplies you need. And it may be a little more inconvenient. You have to wait longer. It doesn't get delivered to your door, uh, but it's worth the hassle. You know, I, I go to the trouble to make the phone calls you know, when you could just sit down in front of Amazon and a few clicks later, the stuff's showing up at your door. Um, I, I'll still go to the extra trouble and the wait to get, to get local uh, supplies. All right, guys, that's all I got. I think that is uh, a pretty comprehensive list of what you can do in your spare time. You've got all this time. Use it to your advantage. Teach your children self-reliance. No one's responsible for you, but you. So teach them self-reliance and uh, uh, teach them a, a trade or a craft or something that is uh, useful to them in this, in this uh, time. All right? I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, you, you all stay safe out there.